All right, hello everybody and welcome to the Realty Ninja demo webinar. In today's event, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a Realty Ninja website from scratch. We're also gonna be showing you how to update that website and add some content and change the layout a little bit. Before we get into actually creating the trial and setting up our website, I do like to talk about a few of the benefits of creating a Realty Ninja website versus going with a custom developer to custom build your website from scratch. I then do like to talk a little bit about the design options that we provide, as well as show you a couple of specific customer designs that we have created recently. I just want to note that this is an automated webinar, so what you're watching right now is a recording. However, there is a live ninja here to answer your questions, so please do use the chat if you have any questions and someone will actually answer your questions because there is a moderator here to communicate with you throughout this event. All right, so let's get started and talk about some of the benefits of creating a Realty Ninja website versus going with a custom developer. So the first benefit I like to mention is the price. So Realty Ninja pricing is simple. It's $79 a month or $828 a year if you go annual. Now the annual fee saves you 13% over the monthly, okay? So you save about $120 a year if you go annual. Now there is no setup fee. We'll set up your website for you uh, for free. It's all included. Uh, and you don't pay this fee until you actually launch your website. So until that point, you get to use the free unlimited trial to set everything up. And you can cancel at any time with you know no cancellation fees and it's totally risk-free to give us a try uh, if you decide not to launch. Now, if you're working with a custom developer, your website can end up costing anywhere between five to $20,000 to build it from scratch with MLS integration. So it's pretty expensive. And another thing is there is a setup fee when you go uh, with a custom developer, they end up charging about 50% upfront before the project even gets started. So the fee, you know, can be anywhere between 2,500 to 10 grand just to get started before you even see a website. So in terms of pricing, you know, you save a lot when you're going with a subscription model like Realty Ninja uh, versus a custom developer to build something from scratch. With Realty Ninja, you wouldn't even pay us $20,000 in 20 years of working with us. Now, the other benefit on top of pricing is technology. So as a software company, which is what Realty Ninja is, we are by nature a technology company. So it's our job, our responsibility to make sure that our software is using the most cutting edge innovative technology possible. So if our software is cutting edge, that means our customers' websites are going to be cutting edge, which means our customers are happy, our company keeps growing, your business keeps growing, it's a win-win-win. So what does it mean to stay on top of the technology? So anytime there is a change happening, whether it's in your real estate industry, in the SEO industry, in the website industry or design industry, we're on top of that and we're constantly making updates to our platform to reflect those changes. So you don't need to think about technology updates. You don't need to ask about them. We're always working on those updates for you behind the scenes. So to give you an idea, last year we released 281 new updates to our platform, updating everything from fixing bugs to adding new features or building in customer requests. We're always working on these kinds of things. Again, you don't need to pay for these updates and you don't need to ask about them. And I'll give you an example. A few years ago, SSL security was a really big hot ticket item in web design and in SEO. So you wanted a website that had this HTTPS at the top instead of HTTP. So all of our customers got to benefit from that for free because we just knew that that was coming and we baked it into our platform. So everybody got to enjoy SSL security on their website. Nobody had to ask about it and nobody had to pay for it. Now, if you're working with a custom developer to build this website for you from scratch, these are the kinds of changes that you need to keep your finger on the pulse of and ask about and pay for. So if you wanted SSL security on your website, you would need to reach out to your developer and say, hey, I need an SSL certificate or I need my website to be HTTPS secure. At which point they're gonna tell you, okay, no problem. The certificate costs $300 and it's gonna take me two hours of time to implement it at a hundred bucks an hour. So all of a sudden this free upgrade that you get with Realty Ninja ends up costing you $500 with a custom developer. So over time, this can take up your initial pricing quite a bit. Every time you upgrade your technology with a custom developer, your price uh, of your website goes up and up. 
Not only that, but you actually need to keep, you know, keep track of these changes and make sure that you know that mobile responsiveness is a big deal or you want VOW on your website or you need an uh, SSL certi- uh, certificate on your website. These are all things that you'll need to reach out to your developer and let them know about. So again, benefits, pricing, technology. The last one I want to mention is support. So support is really the cornerstone of our business at Realty Ninja. The support team is the biggest team in our company and they're always here answering live chats, emails and support phone calls to uh, help our customers out and help make any changes you need to your website. So on an ongoing basis, you can reach out to our support team at any time and you don't need to pay anything extra. It's all baked into this monthly or annual fee that you pay Realty Ninja. So no matter how many times a month you need to reach out, send us an email, pick up the phone and actually call us that's all included. Okay. Now, if you go to our Google reviews and read about what people are saying, they love the support. The support is what really sets Realty Ninja apart. And as a real estate agent, you're not in the business of updating your website or managing a website. You want the pros to do that for you. So you want to sign up for a website where you know you're going to be supported. And that's what you get with Realty Ninja. On the other hand, if you're working with a custom developer to build your website, support is considered billable hours. So every time you reach out with an upgrade or an update, if you want to add a blog post to your site or create a new page, or if you have a technical question that's gonna require a bit of time to answer, these are all things that are gonna be time tracked by your developer. And then at the end of the month, they're gonna send you an invoice. So again, your cost for your website with a custom developer ends up going up quite a bit over time if you're requesting support and changes to your website. With Realty Ninja, again, it's all baked in and our support team will even set up your website for free in the beginning before you're even a paying customer. Okay. So we talked about the benefits real quickly, the pricing, the technology, the support. The next thing I want to talk about before we get into creating our free trial is our design services. So we do provide a few design options. Now that's the only other fee you might pay with Realty Ninja. Uh, on top of this subscription fee. So everyone needs to pay the subscription fee to get their website off the ground with Realty Ninja, but you don't have to pay for designs. But we do provide in-house design options if you want to kind of augment your website and make it look a little bit more on brand and a little bit more polished. So as I said, this is optional. You can see the option on the left here is free and it's included with every site. So you don't have to order a design. You can re- you can use our uh, built-in editor to design your website and make it look stunning, absolutely beautiful without hiring a design ninja. So it's not mandatory. But if you do wanna work with a professional to kind of upgrade your design, like I said, we have two tiers of options. There's a semi-custom design and a fully custom design. Now the pricing and the offering are a little bit different for each of these, so I just wanna click into each one and explain. So let's start with semi-custom. The semi-custom design works by you choosing a starting design, okay? So step one is you pick a starting design and step two is we apply your brand to that starting design. So our design team has created 19 different pre-designed layouts uh, and you know this number is changing all the time. Just a couple of months ago, it was just uh, uh, 16 designs. And so we're always adding new designs as well. And so you pick one of these starting designs that we've designed for you and we apply your photos, your logo, your fonts, your colors, your call to actions, everything about your brand that makes your brand unique gets applied to these starting designs. So when you're on this page, you can actually scroll down and take a look at all of these 19 starting designs or however many it is now that you're watching this webinar. Some of these prices are $6.99, other ones are $1,099. So there's two different tiers of pricing and uh, those tiers reflect, you know, kind of what's included in each of these designs. Some of them have more complex elements and require more hours of a designer's time, but it's pretty simple standardized pricing. So $6.99, $1,099. As you can see, each one has their own name, their own price tag, and a link to view a live demo. So you can scroll through these and find one that you like. And you'll notice they all kind of speak to various different types of agents who work with various different type of types of customers in various different types of markets. So regardless of what you're looking for, you can typically find it amongst our semi-custom designs. So let's say you like this one, Kaiju, okay? The price is $1,099 and you wanna see how it looks. So you click live demo and it's gonna open that up for you in another window where you can actually demo this website. So here it is 
on a uh, on a screen that you can actually scroll through and take a look and see if you like the way this design looks. If you like it, then you can also view how it looks on a different uh, screen size. So for example, if I wanna see how this looks on an iPhone, I just click that icon. And as you can see, obviously all of our websites are mobile responsive, so they look great on any mobile screen uh, or even laptop screen or you know tablet, for example. So you can kind of check it out on, on various different screen sizes. If you like this design, I will show you how to order this design once we create our website together. But just to give you an idea, this is how semi-customs work. You pick a pre-designed layout and we apply your brand to that. Now let's say you don't want to start with a starting design. You want to build something totally unique from scratch. That's totally fine. If you go to the designs page again, there is the fully custom design service as well. So this one starts at 1500 and this one is uh, totally unique to your needs and your requirements for your website and your vision for your website. So you don't pick a starting design. You just have conversations with our designer and let us know exactly what your vision is. If you have something sketched up on a piece of paper, you can show that to us. If you've seen, you know, five different websites on the internet that you draw inspiration from and want to emulate some of the elements of, let us know what those are. You get to actually talk to the designer, let him know exactly what you're looking for, and then we put together the website of your dreams on the Realty Ninja platform, okay? So Realty Ninja is not a template site builder. You can actually build something totally custom using our simple drag and drop widget editor with the help of our design team, okay? So uh, that's the fully custom. It starts at 1500. And to give you an idea of the range of price, I think the most expensive fully custom we've ever done has been somewhere around $3,500. Now these design fees are just one-time fees, okay? They do not affect your subscription price and they do not affect your ability to actually log in and make changes later on, okay? It's just a layer of design uh, and professional design that's been added to the website, okay? On average, I'd say you're, you're looking at a cost somewhere in the middle, around 2,000, you know, 2,200, something like that. Uh, but you know, if you want something totally custom and unique, the price can go up, uh, but it will never really exceed the $3,500 mark, okay? Just to, to recap, you don't have to order a design. It's totally optional, okay? Uh, we do have two options for design. If you do want to work with a professional designer, you can go semi-custom or fully custom. And if you also choose not to order a design up front and start free, and then six months later you want to upgrade to a semi-custom, that's totally fine. A lot of people do that. After two years, if you wanna upgrade your semi-custom to a fully custom, fantastic, we can do that as well. So whatever you choose today, you're not locked into that. You can always change your mind later, maybe after your website's earned you a few leads and you know, you've know you closed a few deals through your website and you wanna reinvest in it, that's fine. Come back and order a design at any time, okay? Now, we've talked about uh, the benefits, we've talked about design. Before we create our site, I just wanna show you an example of a semi-custom website and an example of a fully custom website that we've created recently. So let's click here and take a look at Michelle's website here. So this is a semi-custom and Michelle chose one of those 19 pre-designed layouts that I told you about, one of those semi-custom designs and applied her own logo, her own colors, her own fonts. Uh, her own images, you know, everything about Michelle's brand is brought into this semi-custom design. Uh, and so it doesn't actually look like a semi-custom anymore. It looks quite unique and beautiful because it's brought her own elements into it. So me, I have a trained eye. I know exactly, you know, all the semi-customs that we have, but even still looking at this website, I can't tell which one of our semi-customs she chose. So if you're worried that if you choose a semi-custom, it's gonna look kind of cookie cutter and like everyone else's website, don't worry about that. It's not going to happen because when we bring in your own brand into it, it really does make it look unique. Okay. So semi-custom is an awesome choice to get an affordable, beautifully designed website. Now let's close this and jump over to Zamian's website. So this one is a fully custom. Zamian had a bit more requirements for his website. He had a deep vision about what he wanted. He had produced this great video that he wanted in, in his header. He's got some nice animated call to, ac call to actions on top of the video. He's got cool things like, uh, uh, you know, the five primary options on his navigation bar are showing up here at the top. But then if you want, you can actually click here and dig deeper into his navigation as well. Uh, so he wants you to definitely check these five out, but if you want to go deeper, you can. 
When we scroll down, you'll notice there's this kind of purple bar where I can click in and browse through the different areas to look at listings or look through neighborhood guides or even browse these custom groupings Zamian has created. I can also book an appointment with Zamian, which will open up his calendar so I can book a 15, 30 or 60 minute me uh, meeting with him. Now, the cool thing about this purple bar is when I scroll to the bottom, you can see the purple bar sticks with me at the top of the page. So this is Zamian's kind of most prominent call to action and he wanted it to stick at the top of the page no matter where you went. Another cool thing is when I scroll back up, you'll notice the navigation bar reappears, okay? And this purple bar stays here as I scroll up, but the navigation disappears when I scroll down. So these kinds of custom elements are brought into the fully custom design uh, to kind of bring the page to life and you know make the most prominent call to action stand out, which is really cool. We keep scrolling and you'll see he's got his social media slider here that shows up showing his Instagram posts. Uh, he's got his neighborhood guides here that I can kind of scroll through and click into any of them that I want to see. He's even got things like his rank my agent widget embedded in here. So really whatever you know you need on your website, we can work that in. This is all built on Realty Ninja's platform. Uh, so the sky's the limit. It's just a matter of if you have a vision and if you don't, that's fine. Just talk to our team and uh, and we can help you kind of guide that vision to uh, to a reality. OK, so that's an example of a semi custom and a fully custom. Let's close this tab and close this tab and let's get to the meat of this webinar and actually create a website together and make some changes to that website. So on any page of Realty Ninja that you're on, right now we're on the pricing page, but if I go to the home page or if I go to any page, you're gonna see this start unlimited trial button or this start for free button at the top corner, okay? This green button is the one you wanna to click to get started with your unlimited free trial to essentially create your Realty Ninja account. So go to any page on RealtyNinja.com, look for this start unlimited free trial button and give it a click. Now I'm gonna enter my name here, Realty Ninja team. I'm going to enter uh, an email here. There we go. We're gonna to go to the next step. I'm gonna choose my board, so I'm in Vancouver, so I'm gonna pick the Greater Vancouver board. I am not an agent, so I'm gonna put a, a fake agent ID in here, and I'm gonna enter my brokerage, and I'm gonna enter a password. I'm gonna check off that I've signed my reciprocity agreement so I can show listings. I'm gonna to agree to the terms of service, and I'm gonna sign up for the Dojo newsletter. And then I'm gonna click start my unlimited free trial. Now, one thing you might notice is we did not enter any billing information, okay? We're not asking you for your credit card information to start the trial. You don't need to pay that monthly or annual fee until you decide you wanna launch your website live, okay? So there's no billing information up front. Now, once you sign up, the first thing that happens uh, when your account is created is you're taken into your website and this video pops up, basically introducing you to your website and letting you know what the next steps are. So when you sign up, I recommend watching this video. It's only about a minute and 20 seconds long, but essentially I'm doing a bit of a better job uh, today of a more detailed job of describing things. So I'm gonna skip the video but I will tell you that at the end of the video, uh, we tell you to close the video and click start free setup in the top corner, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and close the video and we're gonna click start free setup. And before I do that, I just wanna point out, we are looking at this website right now, okay? This is the default website that everybody gets when they sign up for Realty Ninja, okay? It comes with a bunch of default pages and a default layout that we get to modify uh, as we go or the designers can modify for you if you order a design. So let's start with the free setup, okay? That's what everybody needs to click to kind of get started. When you click start free setup, it takes you to this four step setup process, okay? So this is the process that I'd say 95% of our customers go through to get their website set up. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't charge you for the setup. We will set up your website for you for free, okay? So uh, there's a really a four step process, but actually all you need to focus on is the first three steps. And if you have any questions at any time or need help walking through this, you'll notice this little chat box popped up. So you can actually book a call with our support team to walk you through this process uh, if you're finding it challenging or if you, you know, have any questions or need any assistance along the way, okay? So let's click through this really quick. I'm not gonna go through this in detail. I'll let you guys dig through these steps yourself. Uh, but I just wanna show you that when you're on step one, the free setup button shows up, okay? If I click step two, it's a different, uh, different form. 
and step three is a different form as well. So each one has their own button. So I'm gonna to go to step one, click start the free setup, and then you're gonna get this form that's gonna ask you some information about your contact info and brand files, your website pages, and your content, okay? So you just wanna go through this form, fill it out, and submit it. When you've submitted this form, our support team is gonna get an email that says, hey, uh, you have uh, you've requested a free website setup, so we're gonna get back to you in, a, in five business days with your completed website. So all this information that you've provided to us, we're gonna use to set up your website for you. Then we're gonna send you an email saying, here, take a look at what we've done and give us any feedback that you may have. At that point, you can let us know, uh, you know, I want a new page created or I want the text here changed or whatever your feedback is and we'll make sure it's all polished and ready for you to go live, okay? When you're done filling out the setup form, you can jump to step two and fill out the theme form. Now, like I said earlier, you have the option to go free, okay? Or you have the option to order a design with our professional design team. So if you wanna go free, you click the left side, and then you can pick some basic layout options, like how do you want your image and your navigation to appear? Do you want them centered? Do you want them overlaid, like your navigation overlaid on your image? How do you want this to look? When you find one that you like, you go continue, and then you can pick a stock photo from this list, and when you find one of these that you like, you can also hit continue, okay? And you can change this stock photo to whatever you like later, any file from your computer, but we just give you a handful of these up front just to give you something to start with, okay? When you like this one, you go continue, and then we tell you, awesome, take a look at what we've made so far by clicking preview website. So when I click preview website, it's gonna bring up that layout that I chose with this image that I chose, okay? So that's that. Now instead, let's go back and order a professional design, okay? So instead of going free, let's say we wanna order a design. So I click the box on the right, and then I have the option to either order semi-custom or fully custom, okay? If we order semi-custom, now instead of scrolling through layout options, you actually get to scroll through those design, uh, those semi-custom designs that I showed you earlier, okay? So you can scroll through and find the one that you were looking at earlier. There it is, Kaiju, 1099. I can click view interactive demo again, just to make sure that this was absol absolutely the one. Perfect, it was. So now we just click order with this design and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna pick that one that you chose here on the left. And then we're gonna ask you some questions about you and your brand, some questions about your website and the users you wanna attract. And then uh, you can attach any additional files and you can request a phone call or an email depending on what you'd prefer with our designers, okay? They'll give you a call or send you an email to discuss your design and then we'll get to work on producing your first mock-up. Uh, this process is pretty straightforward. We do it hundreds of times a month. So uh, leave it to us. You just fill out the form and we'll be in touch. Now, on the other hand, if you wanted to order a fully custom design, instead of clicking semi-custom, you just click fully custom, and then it just brings you to this form. It's the same form, but you don't pick one of those semi-custom designs because you're not building it on a pre-designed layout. We're building you something totally unique from scratch. So again, just fill out this form, let us know if you want a phone call or an email, and our designers will be in touch. Once you've completed step two, you can move on to step three. This is where you're gonna to click to provide us your domain info. So this is where you tell us where you wanna launch your website. So you'll notice here, this website that we've created is currently at realtyninjateam.realtyninja.com. So yours would be like your name.realtyninja.com, okay? Obviously you don't want your website to be .realtyninja.com. You want it to be, you know, your name.com or whatever your brand is.com or .ca, right? So that's where this step comes in. This is for the launching. Now while you're on your free trial, the only limitation is that you can't have it on a final domain, on your domain. You have to pay to unlock the domain feature. Every other feature is available to you on your website except for actually launching it, okay? So this form lets us know where you wanna launch it. So you let us know what the primary domain is, if you've purchased it or not, and you basically fill out this form so it gives us all the information we need to take your website live when the time comes. So that's it, you fill out step one, two, and three, and then you wait for our team to get back to you, okay? We're gonna use step one to set up your pages and content, step two to set up your website's design, and step three to, to actually launch your website when the time comes. When all of this is complete, you wait and we'll be in touch with you and we wanna get your website looking perfect. When it's perfect and you're ready to go live and take it from 
dot realty ninja.com to just your domain.com that's when you're going to go to step four step four is where you're going to launch your website and pick your plan monthly or annual and then you're going to enter your billing information for the first time okay so this is only done when your website's ready to go live until all of this is complete and you're actually ready to take it live and switch your uh, subdomain to the official domain we don't want you to do step four because that will actually charge your credit card we want you to enjoy the unlimited free trial for as long as possible before actually paying for the site so what I always say is it's easy as one, two, three, just complete step one, two, and three, and then wait for our team and we'll be in touch. Okay. Ignore step four for now. So that's it. It's this easy to get your website up and running. You just fill out a few plain English forms and our team will take it from there. This whole process takes anywhere between, you know, five to 30 minutes, depending on how prepared you are with all the information. But that's, you know, really not a lot of time when it comes to setting up an entire website presence, right? So we've made it as simple as possible for you. So follow this process. You'll notice we're on the welcome tab here. So you can come back to this welcome tab at any time and fill these out and our team will take care of setting everything up for you, okay? Now, let's say you wanna roll up your sleeves and actually edit your website yourself. You absolutely have access to doing that, okay? So that's where, uh, that's where we take you to the edit my website tab. So we've been on the welcome tab, let's click edit my website right next to it and it's gonna jump us over to our website. And as you can see, it's got that new image and the new layout that I chose uh, on step two back here in the welcome tab, right? So that's actually set up for me already. But let's say I wanna make some additional changes here. So it's really, really easy to change the layout of this page. Now, one thing I wanna tell you about the layout is that it's all built using widgets. These are drag and drop widgets. It's so simple and straightforward to use. I often tell people, if you've used Google Docs or Microsoft Word, you know how to use a Realty Ninja website already, okay? So before I click page layout and widgets and show you how these widgets work, I wanna talk you through these widgets really quickly. So everything you're looking at on this page is a widget. The first widget you're looking at is where we've got this whole navigation area and this image that says your real estate connection on it, okay? This whole area here is called the tall header widget. When we scroll down, we've got this box where you can pick an area and pick a property type and do a quick search. This whole area here is called the quick MLS search widget. Below that, we've got the welcome to my real estate website default text, okay? Obviously everyone should change this, but what this is is a one column content widget. So it's just content in one column across the page. Next here, we've got these four call to action buttons, get to know me, featured properties, MLS search, and get in touch. This is again, a content widget. This time it's a four column content widget. So we've got content in column one, column two, column three and column four, okay? Below this, we've got this happy family here in the background with the buying a home text on the left and selling a home text on the right. This is again a content widget. This time it's a two column content widget, column one, column two. Below this, we've got this area that says featured properties and shows my sample listing, okay? The reason it's showing a sample listing is because I signed up using a fake agent ID. When you sign up using your actual live agent ID, it's gonna show your actual featured listings in here. If you'd prefer it to show your sold properties or your office listings or any other grouping, you can change it to that. But for now, I just wanna point out that this whole section is just a listing showcase widget. Below that, we've got this area that says recent blog entries, okay? This is a brand new website, so there's no blog posts in here, so that's why it says blog posts coming soon. If there were blog posts, it would show my three most recent blog posts here. This whole section here is called a recent blog post showcase widget. Below that, we've got this get in touch form with uh, a form on the left and some contact info on the right. This whole area is just the form widget. And then below that, we've got the disclaimer from the board in the footer, and this is the mandatory footer widget, okay? So let's use this little icon down here to jump back to the top of the page, and then let's click page layout and widgets to take a look at these widgets in another light. When I click that, this box opens up. In this box, we've got a list of available widgets on the left. These are all the widgets you can use on any page of your Realty Ninja website, okay? On the right, we've got all the widgets on the home page. So we are on the home page. That's why it's showing the widgets on the home page. If I was on a different page, this box would show the widgets on that page. 
So let's look through these widgets again. First, we've got the tall header widget that had my navigation and this photo in it. Then the quick MLS search widget where I could pick an area and a property type and do a quick search. Then there's the one column content widget that had that default welcome to my website text in it. Then the four column content widget that had those four call to action buttons in it. Then the two column content widget that had that happy family in the background with the buying a home text on the left and selling a home text on the right. Then the listing showcase widget that was showing that sample listing because I signed up with a fake ID. Next, the recent blog post showcase widget that was currently empty because I didn't have any blog posts in there. Next, the form widget that had that contact form on the left and contact info on the right. And then the mandatory footer widget with the disclaimer from the board. Okay, so as you can see, all these widgets are in the exact same order that we looked at on the front end of the site. So let's make some changes to these widgets. Okay, so there's a few things we can do. We can uh, change widget options. We can reorder a widget. We can delete a widget and we can re uh, we can add a new widget in from the list of available widgets on the left. Okay, so let's do some of these things. The first thing I want to do is change the widget options for my tall header. Now, I don't want this image, this image, this stock photo that I chose, right? Uh, I want to switch it to something that I choose from my computer. I'm a Vancouver agent, so I want to post a photo of Vancouver in here. So I'm going to go to the widget options for this widget. And I don't know if you've guessed it or not yet, but you click this gear icon to get to the widget options for that widget, okay? Now, every widget here has a gear icon on top of it. So any one of them that you click will take you to the widget options. Now, I'm not going to go through the widget options for every single widget because that would make this a five or six hour webinar and nobody wants to do that. So let's just show you a couple of them today. I'll show you the tall header first. I'm going to click this gear icon and go to the widget options. And here you can see this photo that is showing up here, right? So I can actually add different slides as well. So if you want to have multiple slides, you can add up to five. And uh, you can also update the slide image and slide headline, text, button text, and button URL for each one of these uh, slides. So let's delete this image. I want to change it with something else. I'm going to click upload a new photo and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to my demo folder and I'm going to pick this Vancouver photo. There we go. And let's say you want to change this to your Vancouver real estate connection. No problem. Uh, find your dream home in Vancouver and then we can even give it a button let's say contact me and we can link this to the slash contact page of my website okay perfect I'm gonna go apply changes save my changes and see what happened there we go so here's that photo that I chose and it says your Vancouver real estate connection find your dream home in Vancouver and then the contact me button takes me to the contact page perfect now let's go back to page layout and widgets here. And like I said, there's a bunch of things you can do. So I just showed you the widget options. The other things I said were you can reorder widgets, you can delete widgets, and you can add new widgets into the page. So let's do some of those things as well. So the first thing I wanna do is delete the recent blog post showcase widget. Right now the website doesn't have any blog posts and that widget just says blog posts coming soon. So that's not very flattering, it doesn't look great. So I wanna get rid of it for now. I can add it back later on. So I just go over it and I click the red X on top of it to get rid of it. Now it's gone, okay. The next thing I wanna do is reorder this widget. I wanna move the quick MLS search bar down so it's above the listing showcase widget here. So all I do is scroll my mouse over it left click and hold my left mouse button down so that I'm holding it and then I just drag down down and down and then release my left mouse button and it clicks into place okay so I've reordered a widget I've deleted a widget now let's add a widget in from this list on the left as well so I want to find the three column content widget okay there it is now I want to add it right where the quick MLS search used to be under the tall header so I'm going to go on the three column content widget, left click, hold my mouse button down to grab it. I'm going to drag it over to the box on the right and I'm going to move it up to where I want it and release. That clicks into place. Okay. So we've just added a new widget in, reordered a widget and deleted a widget. Let's hit save changes and see what happens. 
Okay, at first glance, nothing, but as I scroll down, you'll notice that the quick MLS search bar is no longer here. It's been replaced by this white space, and this white space is that three column content widget that I just added, okay? I'll show you how to add content to it in just a couple seconds here, but for now, just note that that's what this white space is. When we keep scrolling down, you'll notice my quick MLS search bar has appeared here now, okay? Right above the listing showcase widget where I wanted it. <clears throat> Perfect. When I keep scrolling down, you'll notice my listing showcase widget goes directly into my form widget. In between these two, there used to be that recent blog post showcase widget, but I deleted it, right? It wasn't very flattering, so that's gone. So as you can see, it's really, really simple to make some pretty significant layout changes to your Realty Ninja website, okay? You don't need any coding or technical experience. It's as simple as clicking and dragging your mouse around, okay? Awesome. Now, we've added a new widget in here, this three column content widget, but I wanna actually add content to it. So that brings us to this other button on our navigation, the edit this page button. <clears throat> Excuse me. This edit this page button, when I click it, you're gonna notice some areas go yellow. So when I click that, here's the first yellow area. There's more yellow areas below, yellow, all this is in yellow, right? So what are these yellow areas? So what these yellow areas means is that these are editable regions. So you can click into the yellow areas and edit anything that you want, okay? Really, really simply. You can also add content into these yellow areas. And I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but when I click into a yellow area or I click out of it, something changes, right? This editor bar appears, or if I click out, it disappears. So when you're in an editable, editable region, you get the editor bar. And if you've, again, if you've ever used Microsoft Word or Google Docs, you're pretty familiar with what you're looking at here, right? You can add an image, do some graphic highlighting, link and unlink text and images, change text formatting, change text color or highlight color, put bullet lists, change alignment. Uh, and the last two allow you to embed third-party code or paste text without the formatting, okay? So let's add some of that stuff into these three columns. In the first column, I wanna add a photo. So when I click into the column, I'm gonna click my image icon here, and it's gonna bring up my media library, as well as a, a option to upload new images, okay? So you can choose more files from your computer, you can add as many photos to your media library as you want. And in my media library, you'll notice that photo of Vancouver that I added as my header is already in here. So when I added it as my header, it actually added it to my media library, so I can use this photo anywhere on my site. I don't need to re-upload it to add it here. So let's say I wanna add this photo. I like this photo, I don't want it for my header, but I want it in this box. So I just click that in my media library and it drops it into place. Now I can grab it in the corner and shrink it or grow it if I want to. Uh, I can change the alignment, I can replace the image, I can link it to a page or even change the image options uh, and, and give it some alt text. Uh, so this is great for SEO purposes, okay? Perfect, now in the middle box, I've copied some text and I wanna paste that text in here. So I'm gonna click in the middle box, I'm gonna click my paste text tool and I'm gonna paste this text in here and go paste content. Now I've decided this is a bit long, so I'm gonna highlight some of that and hit backspace, okay? Just to delete it. I'm gonna put some line breaks here and some more line breaks here and let's shorten this up a bit more and let's highlight this and make it tiny text and let's also highlight it in blue. Awesome. Now let's highlight this one and make it a quote and let's make the color of the quote red. Perfect. And let's highlight this one and let's make it a heading. Okay, awesome. So I've just added some text and formatted the text pretty easily, literally using my keyboard and mouse, okay? Click into the right box and I wanna add a video here. So I've copied the YouTube embed code. I've uploaded a, a video to YouTube and I'm gonna use the embed code to embed the video here. So I click into the box on the right, click the embed icon here, and I paste my embed code into this box and click embed this. That is going to embed my, fit, uh, my video right in there, okay? So I've added a photo, I've added a, some text, and I've added a video. Now I'm gonna go up, I like my changes, I wanna save them, right? So I'm gonna click save this page and lock them in. If I click cancel, everything that I've done since I went into edit mode is gonna get canceled. I don't wanna do that. I wanna hit save. Lock these changes in. 
So now these changes are live. The photos here, the text is here, and the video will actually play when I hit play. Okay, I don't need to leave and go to YouTube. It's actually embedded into this page. Perfect. So again, just so easy to add content to your website yourself and make your website kind of stand out, look unique without you know investing tons and tons of time or money into uh, its design, okay? Now, let's jump over to our uh, listing search page, a different page on this site. So every site comes with a listing search page and it's basically an MLS search, okay? Now the MLS search is super, super user friendly and fun to use. Now let's say I'm a visitor on your website and I love looking at luxury condos in Yale Town. So I can just click into this box and I can start typing Yale Town. By the time I get to the T, Yale Town has already been filtered out. When I hit enter, you'll notice the 245 results for Yale Town properties show up immediately. Now, I don't wanna look at all properties, I wanna look just at condos. So I'm gonna click the drop down, click condos to change my property type and it's gonna update automatically to 218 results. But I don't wanna just look at any condos in Yale Town, I wanna look at really luxury condos in Yale Town, okay? So I'm gonna take my slider here, the left knob on my slider, and I'm gonna drag it until it gets to 2 million. I wanna look at condos over $2 million in Yale Town. So again, automatically updates to 51 results. Nice, clean, and quick, okay? So now these are really fancy schmancy, expensive condos in the Yale Town area. I wanna look at the most expensive one first. So I'm gonna use this uh, sorting option here and go highest price to lowest price. And that's gonna sort these so the most expensive one is at the top and in descending order from there, okay? Now, if I wanted to, I can view these in list view, which will show them this way, okay? Or I can view them in table view, which will show them kind of in a table, which is, which is nice and easy for comparison purposes. Or on the map even, so it'll load a map and plot the listings on a map, so I can view them that way, okay? Now, when I click into a listing, it looks great. It's got full screen images. Uh, we've got our address and our property type and area here, our price on top as well. We can click to view a photo gallery, which allows me to kind of scroll through the photos full screen or actually jump uh, through a bunch of different, uh, you know, skipping a bunch of different photos. When I scroll down, we've got like automatically embedded video or virtual tours right in the top. We've got some of the listing information, a hood queue widget embedded, a walk score widget embedded. You've got the map view, the street view, so you can actually go for a walk in the neighborhood and, and take a look at the area. Uh, virtual tour links, all that good stuff is baked right in, okay? So let's go back to our listing search page. And oh no, that Yale Town condo uh, over 2 million search is gone, right? Because this listing search page is just set to default nothing right? There's no default settings here. Now, if you as the website owner know that your visitors want to look at Yale Town luxury condos, maybe you want to set that up as a default search for them, okay? So let's go ahead and convert this listing search page into a Yale Town luxury condos page that's by default showing Yale Town luxury condos. So how do we do that or what do we need to do? The first thing we'll want to do is change the title here on the page. That's easy. The next thing is to actually change the default criteria of this MLS search. So it's showing Yale Town condos over $2 million sorted from highest price to lowest price in grid view, okay? That's the next step. And then the final step is actually changing the button from listing search to Yale Town condos, as well as the page URL from listing search to Yale Town condos. And I even wanna drag it so it's underneath the properties dropdown, okay? I don't want it to be on my main navigation. I wanna clean up my, my navigation bar and move Yale Town Condos so it's a fifth item underneath the properties dropdown. So let's get started with the easiest step. We're gonna click edit this page, highlight this text, and call it Yale Town Luxury Condos. When we hit save this page, that change is locked in. Now let's go to the next step. We're gonna change the widget options for this widget. That's right, everything on every page is a widget, okay? And the MLS search is no different. So when I click page layout and widgets, it's gonna bring up a pretty similar box to what we looked at earlier. The only difference is on the right side, we've got our listing search instead, so that the listing search page instead of the home page, because we're on the listing search page, so it's showing the widgets on the listing search page. So we've got first our short header, which is my navigation bar at the top. 
then the one column content widget which is the yale town luxury condos text here then the mls search widget okay which is the mls search box we want to change the widget options for the mls search widget so I'm going to click the widget options icon on top of MLS search and it's going to bring up the widget options here. So again, every widget has its own set of unique widget options. Okay. So this is the ones for the MLS search and this, these widget options allow me to set the default criteria for the MLS search uh, widget. So let's click into areas and type Yale town because that's the area we want to pick. So I've selected Yale Town. Now, if you want to do a cluster of areas, you can absolutely do that. We can add Coal Harbor in here as well. Okay, you can add as many areas in here uh, into your default search as you want. For this example, I'm just going to use Yale Town. If I check this box, it will lock users into just searching in Yale Town. Visitors won't be able to add their own search locations. Okay, I want to keep it flexible, so I'm not going to check that box, but it's up to you. Property types we want is condos. The price we want is 2 million or higher. So we're gonna grab the left knob and pull it over to 2 million. I don't care how many bedrooms, bathrooms, what size it is or when it was built because it could be a bachelor suite that was built 30 years ago for all I care, as long as it's a condo over $2 million in Yelltown. But you can adjust all this information and set your, your own default criteria as you wish. The next option is sort order. So I wanna show the highest price to the lowest price, highest price at the top. And the view I want is grid view, but you can choose those other three views as well if you like, okay? We also have the option to hide the MLS search form, which will hide this form completely and just show the listings. And we have the option to only show upcoming, uh, sorry, listings with upcoming open houses or live streams. So if you wanna do an open house search instead of just a uh, overall listing search, you can check this box, all right? You have a few design options, which we're gonna skip, and then I'm gonna hit apply changes and save. So now it's showing Yale Town condos over 2 million, right? Sorted from highest price to lowest price in grid view by default. Here are those 51 results again. Now, if I leave this page and go to this listing, and then I come back to this page, the criteria is still set here because this is now the default criteria, okay? So really, really convenient and easy to create these kinds of pages and you can create as many of these as you like for different areas, different property types, different price categories, whatever it is you know that you wanna create. You can get really, really custom with it. So we've changed the title here. We've changed the default criteria. The last thing left is to change the name of this page, the URL, and drop it underneath the properties dropdown. That brings us to the third button on our navigation here, okay, the Manage Pages button. So when I click this button, we're gonna get a new box that shows up. This box allows me to create a new page, and just so you know, you can create an unlimited number of pages or landing pages on your Realty Ninja website, okay? If you wanna have a website with 100 pages, by all means, go ahead. The next box allows me to organize my pages and my navigation bar. So everything that you see here are the pages on my website and the ones that you see that have the yellow light bulb, the light bulb turned on are the pages that are actually appearing on my website's navigation. Okay. So here's that listing search page that we want to work on. So the first thing I want to do is move it. So it's underneath the properties drop down. So you'll notice there's these four items that are, that are uh, indented underneath properties, right? The indented items mean that these are drop down menu items underneath properties. About has a couple of drop down items as well. It's got bio and testimonials are underneath about. So listing search is tucked all the way to the left, right? So it's not a sub page underneath properties. So I want to click and hold this directional arrow, er, sorry, directional arrow here. And I want to drag it up so it's under properties and I wanna drag it to the right into the light green area to make it a sub page underneath the properties dropdown. When I let go of my mouse here, it clicks into place and now it's indented as well. So if I hit done, you'll notice my navigation bar just got smaller and underneath properties, there's now a fifth item, but it's still called listing search, right? So let's go back to manage pages. Let's find that listing search page again, and let's go over to the right here. So the light bulb, if we turn it off, it'll just hide the page from my navigation. It won't delete it. It just won't put it on the menu. That's not what I want to do. I want to keep it on the menu. So let's turn the light bulb back on. If I hit the red X, it's going to delete it. I don't want to delete it either. So let's not hit that. 
but I do want to play with the options of this page. Okay, so that's the gear icon again, which is kind of familiar from where you saw it on the widget options. So the options icon is always a gear. So the page options here, when I click, it's going to allow me to change the page name and the page URL. So let's change this name of the page to Yale Town Condos. So that's the label on my navigation. And let's also change the URL to Yale Town Condos. When I hit apply changes, uh, you'll see that the page is now called Yale Town Condos. And if I hit done, you'll see that on under the drop down here, it says Yale Town Condos. And we've got the URL saying Yale Town Condos as well. Okay. Easy peasy. Now, if I want to recreate this page for a different area, I don't have to start over from scratch. I can just clone the page. So let's go back to manage pages. Let's find the page we want to clone. Here it is. Now, the, the option on the very right here is the duplicate or clone page tool. When I click that, it's going to create a copy of Yale Town Condos. Okay. And by default, it's going to hide it from my navigation until I fix the settings. So let's go and change the page options and let's call this one. Cool Harbor condos. Let's click edit and we will change this page to Cool Harbor condos as well. So the page URL is also Cool Harbor condos. We're going to hit apply and there we go. Now let's click this icon here to the left of the arrow to actually go to the page. Now you'll notice we exactly copied it. So it still says Yale Town here and it's still showing Yale Town as the area. So we're just going to hit edit this page, change this to Cool Harbor, hit save. And then we're also going to change the widget options for the MLS search widget. And instead of Yale Town, we are going to show Cool Harbor. Okay. And then we'll save these changes again. And now we've got Coal Harbor condos over 2 million. There's 57 results. It's showing them in grid view, highest price to lowest price. And underneath my properties drop down. Oh, it's still not there because the light bulb is off. So we go manage pages again, turn the light bulb on. Now that we've fixed all of the settings for it. Okay. It's ready to go live. When I hit done, now it's a member of this list. So now there's six items here. Okay. So much easier to clone this page than to create it all the way from scratch and go through the whole process. Right now, let's say you want to turn this into an information page about Cole Harbor that also shows listings. You can absolutely do that. We click page layout and widgets, and maybe we want to drag in a two column content widget underneath the page header hit save changes. And now we've got this content uh, space here. We can click edit this page. We can, uh, let's say we've written some text. We can paste our text in here and we can, uh, you know, format this text and make it look kind of nice. Let's make it a bigger heading actually, just to be, just to be nitpicky. There we go. And then we can add an image here, for example. So let's just pick uh, this image. Okay. And then when we save that, now we've got a bit of information here. Okay. Now let's say you want to show the information and just the listings. You want to hide the MLS search form. Absolutely possible as well. You go to page layout and widgets, go to the MLS search widget options, and we are going to say hide MLS search form. Okay. When we apply that change, now you're just seeing the description of the area with the photo and just the listings. Okay. So there's tons of ways you can customize these pages, right? You can add more widgets. You can change widget options. It's really, really easy to do. And it really brings your site to life and makes these pages into resources for your visitors, which is fantastic. So I've showed you a little bit about how to set up your website, change the layout, add some content, change and, and uh, uh, create, you know, kind of kind of niche MLS search pages and customize your widget options. The last thing I want to remind you about is that you don't have to do any of this stuff. OK, we are here to do it for you. So remember, you can always go to the welcome tab. And you can always just fill out this form and let our team do everything for you. And then ongoing, you can reach out to us with email, phone, or even live chat and let us know if you need anything done or any updates to your website. We're here to help in that regard. You can, when you're logged in, you can always jump to the help tab here in the top right corner. We have tutorial videos that'll show you how to do all kinds of stuff if you want to do it yourself. We also have extensive help docs that will answer all of your burning questions about anything that you're looking for. You can email our support team. You can call us anytime we're here uh, between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, you can schedule a call, uh, a call with us at a time that works for you. 
uh, or you can actually just click here and live chat with someone it says here we're online right now so you can actually start a chat with a live human here uh, and so we're here to help you in any way that is easiest for you chat email phone whatever you like okay we're always here ninjas got your back so thank you so much for watching this presentation uh, we're going to give you guys five minutes now to ask any questions if you haven't already asked your questions throughout this presentation so please feel free to stick around for the next portion which is a five minute q a portion uh, ask your questions and a live ninja will answer them on the spot for you if you have more questions after the five minute period is over we'll let you know just to email us at info at realtyninja.com and we can either answer your questions via email or schedule a call with you okay Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure and we hope to see uh, what you create with the Realty Ninja platform really soon. Cheers.